Hey guys, and welcome back to MPK Hobby RC. So recently I reached uh, 11 subs, and I know to a lot of people 11 is not a big number, but it's a, it's a two-digit number, so <laughs> it's a start. So I uh, just wanted to say thank you to all of my subscribers, all 11 of you. <laughs> Thanks again, and I will try not to disappoint. Today I'm doing a comparison video of my uh, two Element RC trucks. The uh, older one, the Trail Walker, and the brand new guy, the uh, Trail Runner with uh, independence front suspension. So we'll see how that works. So I'm just gonna do a little crawl um, and we'll see which one performs better. So, as it turned out, I uh, brought the wrong remote for my trail walker. <laughs> That's maybe uh, a problem when you have so many. I think maybe I should put stickers on them or something. So it's not going to be much of a comparison, but yeah, I've got these two guys here. The Trail King from Koyosho and Element RC's Trail Runner. So let's do a little comparison. It's, I'm pretty sure this guy will be able to go wherever this guy can, but uh, yeah, let's see. <laughs>
So I don't know how much of a comparison video that was, but um, at least you got to see them on uh, various surfaces. Uh, my thoughts on the Trail Runner is it's definitely made to drive slow. And, well, for all you crawlers out there, this, this could be a nice vehicle for you. It's, it's I even... I think it's even slower than the than the trail walker. Um, for a moment there, I thought the trail walker motor was broken because it was going so slowly. But now with this guy, uh, I can pretty much safely say that yeah, they were built this way, and they just they just drive. <laughs> I mean, it's still a bit top heavy. Maybe I'll. Uh, Add some weights here or something. Uh, a winch would be nice. But we'll see. It's just literally just the first run with this guy. This guy I've taken out before. The Trail King. Obviously you've seen he can go pretty much anywhere. But what is annoying is these tracks come off every once in a while. And... Uh, I don't know, maybe not tight enough, maybe I need to tighten here or something, but yeah, that's my experience. It's already a little bit scuffed up, paintwork's sort of scratching off a bit. Same here a little bit, but not too much. Yeah, I, um, I'm pretty happy with both of these guys, obviously. It's annoying that this guy doesn't have, these are just stickers and there's no light buckets, but I was thinking maybe I could probably print one or print some light buckets. And this guy, I think I'll leave, but I do. I did buy two of them. Well, it's not fun to drive on the snow by yourself, so I bought two. I think I'm probably gonna give the, the next one a similar spray job as him, but with some sort of like a, a bar or a cage here in the back. And then once I have the cage on, I'll probably want to put an LED rack here. But yeah, these are all things to come up in the future. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick little video to say thank you to all my subscribers, all of any of you. Again, it's not much, but it means a lot to me. So, thanks guys. And, uh, yeah, as I said before, I'll try not to disappoint. Cool. Thanks. See you in the next one. Bye.